Hi there, folks, welcome back from more PGA Tour 2K21, and we have another World Cup design courses uh, for you today. Uh, this one is called Marlow Heath, and it is by BS Petty. So let's get a look at the sentence here. Okay, the fairways are normal, greens are firm, green speed is fast. Time of day, afternoon, the weather is clear. And we're going to go off the black tees, 7,300 yards. Now, if you look at this, the white tees says 7,457 yards. And it says the black tees are 7,300 yards. Now, I did jump in to have a quick look and get the sky camera up earlier on. And the black tees were further back on the first hole. So I'm going to go with the black tees, to be honest. I'll show you when we get in. I don't know if it's going to change halfway uh, on the way around the course, but on the first tee, the black tees are the back tees. So I'm going to try that and let's go into the course. I'll show you what I mean. Now, there is a certain thing that they've been doing over at TDG Tours and some of the designers called multi pins. I don't know if that's or multi tees or whatever. I don't know if that's what he's done here. Now, I haven't got a clue what it is, but it seems to muck about with the the way the tees are set in the list. Uh, usually when you play, the, the top ones are the shortest and the bottom ones are the longest. But usually when they do these, I don't know if he has done it here, uh, but when they do this sort of multi-pin or multi-tee, whatever it is, I've only read a little bit about it. It seems to muck up the order and what the tees are, but I'll show you what I mean. When I first started, I had a little quick look um, earlier on, I was off this tee here, even though it said it was the longest one, it was 7,000... Was it 395 or something? But then you had this tee back here. So that is the tee that I'm going with because it looks, it's the longest tee, um, especially on the first hole. So anyway, let's go into it. Let's have a look around. Uh, what it says here as well, and I'll put a link in the description uh, for all the courses, and I'll put a link in the description for the course list as well. Say 18 holes pass into two 7,300 plus yards. There are four T sets that use the TR, there you go, the T manipulation trick. So each T corresponds with a pin set. Gotcha, right. So the white T's are for pin set number one. The red T's are for pin set number two. The black is for pin set number three. And the blue is for pin set number four. Now, I think I've went off black, but I've kept on pin set number one. <clears throat> I hope it doesn't make any difference. We shall see. But yeah, that's what I was talking about. Uh, this um, T manipulation thing. So I wasn't kind of sure how it worked, but he, he sort of explained it there. So let's go take a little look over here. That's sort of cl the clubhouse area down there. Let's have a look at the plot, shall we? Okay, right, what it says here, took inspiration for this one from a couple of British Heath Heathland courses, namely St. George's Hill and Sunningdale. I wanted the purple heather in full bloom. Looks similar to this. Now he's put a couple of screenshots up. And as I said, I will put a link in the description to the course so you can go over and have a look. And there's your purple heather there. Very nice. Now, Mr. B.S. Petty is one of my favourite designers in the game. Absolutely fantastic designer. And I am really looking forward to this. The wind sounds pretty strong. I like the little sort of dirt paths that he's got coming. He's got here. Just going different areas and things like that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Looks like a pretty tight course as well. So as I said, we'll just have a quick zip around, then we will get onto the tee and get it started. Now, I hope you've been enjoying the, um, the World Cup of Design courses. This is the third one that I've done. I've played a couple of them, well, three or four of them. And so far, Reed Dukes is the my favourite course at the moment. That was the one I did earlier, uh, the other day with the Swahili name, Kwasi Hisi, or something like that. <laughs> I can't remember off the top of my head. Hold on, I've got my YouTube page up on the other screen. Uh, Kukimbia Kwa Fisi. That's the one. That's that's my favourite at the moment. So we shall see how this one sort of stands up against that. 
I usually I don't like saying oh, I prefer this one or prefer that one. It's all down to the uh, personal preference and it depends what the judges are actually looking for to be honest. But everybody will have their sort of favourite sort of type of course meat. It's a very natural sort of looking course that I like to play. And this looks like a very natural kind of looking course. So we're going to head back up towards the tee here. As I say, there's nothing, there's no big massive waterfalls and things like that. But very just pure golf course, natural looking and hopefully plays very natural as well. Okay, here we are back up towards the clubhouse here. What's this over here? So he's got on top of the clubhouse there. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually a skip, I think. But it's a nice emblem for these for the clubhouse there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I like that. Uh, some of the guy, some of the things these guys do, honestly, there's some imagination. Okay, I do love the, the sort of lamps and all that just going down the side there, and the fence. Right, let's go on to the first heat and get this started. Now the wind's not as strong as I thought it was actually. It's only seven mile an hour. It actually sounded a little bit blowier than that. I'll tell you what, outside my house at the moment, and it's like, oof, it is really windy. Right, well, we've got hole one, and it is 474 yards. So I do apologise if I have went off the red tees, Mr. Petty, but I, I, have, I never had a clue how this tee manipulation thing works. But you did explain it in your post. Okay, slight fast off the tee there. Hopefully it's going to be okay. Yep, that's not... Oh, what a kick there. Did you see that? Just ran right off. Damn. I actually thought that was going to be nice. Okay, 75 to 82%. We've got 6 mile an hour wind against us as well. So I'm going to bump up three clubs here. A little bit of a left to right slope as well. Okay, we get the perfect. Nice one. It seems to be turning in a little bit. Is it going to make it to the green now? Right, we just made it on the green. It's going to leave us quite a lengthy putt. Okay, 34 feet. Let's take that pin out. Okay, now here's where I always screw up my putt. My putt is absolutely terrible. Ooh, that's not... Too, oh, do you know what? I didn't even look at the green speeds there. It's not too bad though. It didn't go too far past. 176. Oh, they are pretty slick then. And I have to be careful. Quite easy to lip out up into the 170s, mid 170s. Okay, hole 2, par 5, 537 yards. Look at the wind against us again here. Oh, that's a massive fast. Big red fast. Oh, that might go off again. It has. Ah. Now, probably, I, I probably wouldn't have went for the green anyway, not with that bunker in front and going in there with a, probably a three wood. So I probably would have just laid up anyway. Don't forget guys, the Jim Games Club Society, we are playing at one of my favourite courses of all time. This week we are the Players' Championship at TPC Sawgrass. I've got it set up. Now I know some of you guys, I kept, uh, for like two weeks I've said that I'm going to, I'm putting the distance meter to open. I thought I did that last week, but it was the other one that I put to open and I, I completely forgot, but I've tested it, well, I've checked it and double checked it this week i'm sure i've got it to open so use guys with mouse who are playing with mouse it should be good for you so i know it must be pretty hard and um, playing hold on let me take this shot oh I'll tell you what let's just come back just a touch we haven't got any haptic feedback like uh, the controller users have so hopefully I've done it right this weekend. As I said, it's the first time I've really ran a society. I've made a 
couple of mistakes setting them up over the last sort of week or two. But I'm kind of hoping I've got it all set up properly now. And that should be it. I'll leave it just the way it is. So I'm hoping anyway. Right, come on. Let's see if we can get this. Oh, you got to be kidding me. That looks straight to me. <laughs> oh. My putting. Dreadful. But not a bad start though. We're on for par par. Par par par. Okay, par three. What have we got? 302. Ooh, that's a big par three. Driver on a par. Oh no, it's par four. <laughs> I thought because because the marker was on the green there, I thought it was a par three. I didn't even look up to the left hand side there to see it's par four. Ooh, nice short par four. Right, so we're going to make this. Let's just pull it back just a touch. There's the three right there. Yeah, right. Let's pull it back to about there, I reckon. Sure. Bloody fast. Oh, this one. That's one. Way past. We're into this sort of heavy stuff here. The pine straw. That's what he's made the little paths out of. Right, I'm going to pitch it up. A little bit of a slope there as well. Right, slow down ball. Bloody slow down. I'm surprised that went that far past though. I mean, that was, what, 80 to 88 percent? And we're going to screw this up. Look at that. Tiny short par 4 and we're not even going to get a birdie off it. Damn it. <laughs> Those fast screens. But that I didn't think that'd go that far to be honest. That little pitch shot. But I think that's another par, is it? Yep. We'll take that. Okay, this one's a par three. Right, what we got? Four hybrid, but eight mile an hour wind against us though. So I think we should be good going in there with the five wood. Well, that's not too bad actually. We'll make a green, but I don't know how far it's going to be away from the pin. Is it going to turn in any? Ooh, that looks like a little slope there. Right there. It is as well. Yep. Okay, 23 feet. And uh, see, it almost says 6 inches there. So I'm actually going to play for that 6 inches. So to, oh, seven, mm, yeah, seven inches. Let's take the pin out. So I think if I play for uh, one foot down, it's going to be off the blue and green, the speed of these greens. So we'll play for the six or seven inches. Oh, that was well off. And we're going to end up with another par here. Yep, going along pretty steady. Okay, fifth par four. Seven mile an hour wind coming from the right hand side. Oh, come on, stop. Hitting these bloody big fasts. <clears throat> See, that's what I'm on. That's what I, well, that's what I've said a few times in a couple of my videos about these red fasts that people actually play. To me, it's an exploit. A lot of people say it's not an exploit. They're just playing the game. But if you're constantly hitting red fasts all the time, like I just did there, you're taking the perfect variable out and you're taking the slow variable out. So you've got three variables. You've got a fast, a perfect, and a slow. And if you're constantly hitting red, red fasts all the time, you're taking two of those variables out. So to me, that is an exploit. Oh, I don't know if this five was going to get up over here. Oh, three was definitely not. We're going to have to go for it. I'll tell you what, though. I don't think we're going to reach the green because 82%. So, I think... I don't even know if the four iron will get over the top of that. That 
big bit of rough here with the bunkers. I don't know whether just to sort of lay up short actually. 205, 220, 228. Oh, yeah, let's go with that. Oh, it did make it. And there we go, there's another massive red fast, which I didn't play for. I'm actually playing for perfects. But at least we get over the bunker there. Right, now that pitch I did earlier actually ran quite a bit past the, the hole, so I'm going to play this a little bit short. Oh, we get it perfect. So that's not bad. Yep, that is not bad at all. We are actually going to. Hold on. That was for third. Oh, this is for par. I was hoping we are going to get a birdie there. <laughs> Okay, another par. Big string of pars. Lovely course though. Really enjoying it. Okay, right, I think. 518. If I pull this back just a little touch. See, if I go with a three wood, I think we're going to be too short to try and hit the green too. Now, if we go with the driver and pull it back some, we might reach it. Another big fast again. We're in the rough. Okay, you slow that swing down just a touch, and it's seventy percent as well. Lemonek, seventy percent. I think I'll just go with the four high we've done. Hopefully, we get down there close to it. Pitch on. Maybe. Pick up. Oh, don't go in there. Don't go in there. It's going in there. It bloody is. <laughs> right. 60 to 75%. Right, come on. Oh, bugger. I screwed that up. Right, I've got to pitch this. Oh, the sand wave we want. Pitch, bring it all the way back. Yeah, let's bring it back to about there. Hopefully this stops pretty quick. Go on, go on! <laughs> so we're going to get the par here again. Okay, 471, par 4. Wind is going with us this time. Let's try and slow this swing down a bit. Oh, not that bloody much. See, that's the thing. I overcompensate. Oh, and it's not one in the bunker. Would I prefer it in the bunker, actually? 80 to 87% is not too bad. Go two clubs up here, I think. Oh, there we go again. Bunker to bunker. Oh, that wasn't a bunker. Rough to bunker. <laughs> right. Pitch up, sand all the way back. Oh, we've got 13. Right. A 78 to 86%. Right, come on, ball. Oh, it's off the bloody green. Oh, we're going to hit a bogey here. Unless this goes in. Oh, sugar. Look at that. That's terrible. <laughs> oh, dear. Right. Bogey. You try and get a couple of birdies at least. Big string of pars and a bogey. Right, come on. Let's see if we can get one here. I'm going to go with the eight iron. Oh, yes. Go on. Oh, I would have liked that a little bit closer, though. Oh, come on, 
Let's see if we can get this. Oh, it's not turning. It's not bloody turning. Damn it. Oh, I sort of pushed it. If you look at my, my swing stroke there, it sort of just pushed it a little bit to the right at the end. That's another par. When you do hit a nice perfect off the tee, you really do like to hit, expect to hit a birdie. Oh, damn it. Oh, that's in the thick stuff again. In the purple heather. 81 to 88%. All right. Let's go two clubs. Again, a fast. That's going to be the left of the green. Tell you what. Oof. Struggling with this one. It's not the course, it's, it's, it's my gameplay. I'm all over the place at the moment. Nope, I'm going to pitch it. Again, let's go down to the sand wedge. Very fast. You kidding? It did not feel like a very fast. Right, ho hopefully we get the par here. Or we could end up... Oh, ho, ho, ho. Go on, get it. Oh, oh ho, ho, ho. that was close. That's another blooming bogey, though. Tough course. But again, it's mainly down to my play. A little bit. Oh, that's tight right there. Oh, putting! Get in now. What a nice time to hit perfect on a very tight little fairway there. You love that sound, hitting that sweet spot. Ding! Okay, 122, 8 up, so it's playing around about 125. We should be good, it's on the 3 mile an hour wind against. Ooh, do I go with the pitch though? Ooh, fast. That's pulling it left. That's going to be off the bloody green. Oh, I should have went with a full shot there instead of the pitch, I think. Wow, how the hell did that go that far past? That's terrible. 27 feet past. This is going to be another bogey. <laughs> oh, that's going off. Could be a double. All right, come on. Oh, you son of a bitch. It's a double bogey. Oh, this is, this is going to be a high score around this one. Double bogey. Oh, look at that. Bogey, bogey, double bogey. <laughs> Four over. Right. Come on, let's try and get a couple of birdies here. Bloody fast again. It's on the green, though. At least it gives us a chance at a birdie. That's the main thing. Right, come on. Let's try and get this one. Oh! Oh, just lipped it. Just lipped it. Damn it. That should have been in. <laughs> Must admit, though, I do like trying to scramble for pars and stuff, though. So I headed for that bunker right in the blim middle, I think it is as well. Slow down, ball. Slow down. Ooh, that was close. 
Oh, it's par five. We can reach the green too. Come on. Oh, slight fast. Should be on the green. Oh, there's a little slope there. Kick. Come on, kick. Oh, I was kind of hoping I was going to kick it way to the right there. There's a little hump right at the front of the green there. I was kind of hoping I was just going to hit on the right hand side of it. Right, I'm going to play this a little bit shorter. So, as I said, these greens are pretty slick at 176. Right, well, we've got 51 six up, so it's playing around about 57 ish, right? So let's just bring that back just a touch. Okay, I'll do, I'll do. I should get the birdie here. Yes! Hey, buddy! Drops us down to minus three. <laughs> uh, plus three, should I say. <laughs> minus three. I wished. Right. Oh, there it goes again. And uh, that's going to be off the fairway again. Yeah, it's a tight, tight course, this one. Oh, blue neck. Fast, slow, fast, slow. Right, let's bring it back to about here. Oh, sugar. Honestly, it doesn't feel like I'm hitting that fast. <clears throat> Not like that anyway. That was a huge, massive red fast, that was. Right, 14 feet, one inch down. Oh, that's going to turn too much. Oh, that's another bogey, isn't it? Oh, I've just threw my birdie away. Back to plus four. Wow, tough, tough, tough. Again. Look at how far that turns. That is going off the fairway again. I think I should go back down to pro. <laughs> I cannot hit anything today. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Nice one. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. It is just going off. Wow. Right. 77, 8 ups, just playing on about 80. 79%. Let's put it up one, I think. Oof. Oh, it's a slow. And uh, look at that ridge right in front of me there. That was going to be a tough putt. That's going to be a massive right to left putt here. Okay, 30 feet, 4 inches down. Okay, slow down, Paul. Okay, get the pot. Par five as well. We should be getting birdies, at least trying for birdies on par fives. Oh, wow. That's just off fast as well. Look how far it's turned. It's actually, is it going to hold this time? Oh, it is. It's because we've got a big fairway. <laughs> Quite a wide fairway, that one. Right. Pitch shot. Oh, we get the perfect. Okay, hold up, ball, hold up. Still leaves us quite a lengthy putt, though. Right, 
Come on. Turning. Go on. Yes. Nice one. About time. Okay. Birdie. Takes us down to plus three. Now, can we get one or two? No. I doubt it. <laughs> At least one more, I hope. Right. Pitching wedge. Let's bring that back just a touch. Ooh, slight slow. That's looking not bad, though. <gasps> oh, that would have made my day. <laughs> but hopefully, hopefully, I get another birdie. Yes, down to plus two. <clears throat> two holes to go. Okay, what we got here? Let's... Oh, it's a short par four. Come on, let's hit a nice one here. Shika. Right, let's get a nice pitch here. Oh, why didn't I hit a nice one there? Nice short par four. Oh, that's a tough pin as well. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Come on. Stop. Right, got another chance at a birdie here. It's certainly not a gimme though, is it? Oh, turn, turn, turn. Get in there. Three birdies on the bounce. Right, come on. Can we finish strong? Par four. Right, let's go down this side. It's wider. Oh, that's not too bad, but hopefully it doesn't go too close to them trees on the left. So I can get over them. Oh, come on. Oh, I might have to go around them. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, that's why they're there. I'm going to have to go around them. A bit of a slope there, though. All right. Okay. I might have to go up a club. 162, 16 up, so it's playing around 167. Yep, gonna have to go up a club, put a massive draw on it. And fast, bloody hell. Okay, we're on the green. Oh, that stopped, lovely. Do you know how quickly that stopped there? Tough little putt though. 21 feet, 3 inches up. Oh, oh, damn it. Right, let me just get a quick screenshot, guys, for the thumbnail. Let's turn, putt and grid off. And let's do that, yep. Right, let's get a nice screenshot here. We'll get the purple heather in. Since it's called, well, should I say, yep, since it's called Marlow Heath. Nice Heathland course. There we go. How about that? That looks okay. There we go. Right. Right. Tough, tough course, but my gameplay didn't help me much there at all. I was a little bit all over the place with the tempo. Now, there you go, guys. That is a Marlowe Heath by EPS Pay. Very, very nice course. Um... It's a toss-up between me so far, between Reepdug and this one. I like both of them very much. I think Reepdug's something that I've never seen before. It's completely different, the way he did it. Uh, BS Petty, again, very natural looking, very, the, the way it plays as well. It's a tough course, I must admit, but I did really enjoy it. <coughs> Excuse me. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I will catch you again next time. Don't forget, stay safe.